Hi, yeah, welcome back to the vlogs. It's been a while, but today we want to chat about our new micro raves. Not microwaves, micro raves. <laughs> Every Saturday, here in the Dream Machine. Basically what they are is, it's a chance to just let go a wee bit, to dance like nobody's watching. It's a cliche, but it's possible. So what we've got, we've got a dream room that can fit maybe 40 people, um, and you've got space to dance. It's fully immersive, so we've got lights uh, and projections all around about you, but I guess the purpose of it is to really just give you a space uh, to move without, you know, without somebody telling you what to do, to just be free and, and to listen to music. How often do you get a chance to like really immerse yourself, surround yourself in loud music um, that's, you know, upbeat, that gets your body moving? I mean, you listen to it when you're maybe going, going to work in the morning on your headphones and, you know, you may be tapping your foot, but come on, it's not just me that just wants to get up and just start absolutely going for it, you know? But you can't, um, but here you can. We call it healthy hedonism. I think our culture's got a lot of unhealthy hedonism. Uh, I think a lot of our culture focuses, I mean, my personal story, I, I, I was a DJ, I am a DJ. I DJed in clubs for for eight years, uh, produce, producing, you know, house techno. I love the, I love the freedom and the, and the, the lights and the sensory environment and the super loud music and your ears are blistering when you come out and you're still dancing to the beat, even though there's nothing playing. Um, I loved all that. I guess the unhealthy element of it was, well, I guess first of all the hours, it's, it's always late at night, it's unsafe, there's a lot of drugs and alcohol involved, uh, and it, it really can ruin, it can ruin people's lives. It becomes, the hedonism can overtake, the escapism of, of the moment can become your life. And it's all right to kind of escape now and again, but I've seen it, I've seen it in parts of my life and, in, and lots of people around about me, the escape became the reality. And that's, that's not good. I mean, you've got to be grounded and based and, uh, and functional and, and happy and healthy in, the, in this, in your own life. So, but it, does that mean if you, if you don't, if you, if you can't be involved in that life, maybe you've got a family now, um, maybe your job doesn't allow it. Maybe you've just not got the energy to stay up till, you know, three days in a row anymore. Whatever it is, does that mean if you're not involved in that world, does that mean that you can't be involved in any form of, of hedonism or, or the, can you not get the same euphoria that you get uh, from, from going out club and maybe you've got a disability or maybe maybe you are a carer yourself. We're just trying to bring all that together, bring the, the best elements of, of hedonism, the best elements of sensory arts, of loud uh, music, electronic music, entrancing music you get in clubs house techno, electronic, disco, funk, whatever it is, whatever you're into. We're bringing all that, all that elements along with the lights and the projections and we're putting it into a, a micro space, a space that's open during the day, during the day, you know? So it's a space that you don't, it doesn't have to ruin your whole day. You can still be fresh afterwards. You're literally going to be replacing a hangover with a euphoric buzz that's hopefully going to last today. And, and, and ongoing for the rest of the week. It's a new model, it, obviously it's, it's not it's not new, it's not an idea that we've just invented. Day raves have been going for quite a while now around the world, they're really big in London and in Australia and in America, uh, but in Glasgow, we're starting to uh, try to build up a wee tribe here of, of people, of like-minded people, for whatever reasons, from whatever your background, who, who are interested and really want to just let go, want to be free, to do, do what you gotta do, you know, and, and dance and sing out loud, put your hands in the air and just feel, feel amazing, but without the, the negative and unhealthy connotations that can come with other elements. There's a lot of us that maybe want to be doing things that, that maybe allow us to meet, meet new people, that maybe allow us to start to get fit, to connect with our, our body but maybe don't feel comfortable in other social situations, or maybe don't feel comfortable in gyms or, or fitness classes. A day rave is a brilliant opportunity to, to do all those things, to meet new people. We've got a fancy dress box, uh, so you can get out of your own comfort zone, you can, you can swap fancy dress, swap a wig, you know, become act, become, become whoever you want to be. Um, so you can meet new people, you can, you can act silly, you can bring out your inner kid. At the same time, 
you're using your body all over, you're moving every part of your body. What what better exercise than dance? And what more what's more human than dancing, you know? What's when you go back to the dawn of humanity, that's just what this is what we did, you know. We got around the campfire and we danced. What do animals do when they're stressed, when they've been chased by a predator? They have to shake it off. But so much we don't have those 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 rituals in our society and if you don't shake off your stress, if you don't shake off the anxiety of your week, it builds up and it causes unhealthiness, it causes, it, it can become malignant, it causes problems with your mind and with your body. So a day we can do so many things, you know, come in just raving for a few hours, it helps you shake all that off and it brings you together because you're doing it together. It means the room, it finds itself in a common resonance. And uh, so you'll find yourself talking to people that you might not have talked to in the street, that you might not have talked to in a bar. You know, people of all ages, all all genders, all backgrounds can share the same space and can have something in common. And nobody's drunk, nobody's going to be into your personal space, which you so often find in bars and in clubs. Instead, we're, we're, we're there for a common purpose. So I guess overall, there's lots of good reasons to come to a day rave. Um, and, well, we're going to be doing them all, all day, every Saturday. For now, we're just starting off with a micro morning rave, which is at uh, half ten every Saturday. But we're eventually going to grow that and build that. We're eventually going to be doing some baby raves, uh, babies and toddler raves. Uh, we're maybe going to break them up into some, some evening evening ones as well. We're going to be providing all sorts of genres of music, maybe get some drum and bass in there, some funk and soul, you know, the full spectrum of good music. Um, so yeah, there's lots to come, but for now, just get in touch, come and join in, come down every Saturday, become part, come, join the tribe, you know, join the tribe and let go and be yourself and feel happy. So our micro raves are all pay with the side. That's to make it accessible to absolutely everyone. So no matter who you are, where you're coming from, whether you're skint this week or whether you're not, just come down. It's free at the point of use. If you can pay it forward, pay it forward so other people can come. If you can't this week, just come anyway, just come and join in. There's nothing stopping you taking part. The room itself is fully accessible. So whatever your accessibility needs are, let us know. See you at the Dream Machine on the dance floor. Yeah, cool, see you there, bye.